leave out, kid. You'll go purple. I'm scared, Sarge. Everybody's scared, kid. Anyone who says he isn't is a damn liar. How many times have you been in combat, Sarge? I was with Raider Battalion on Peleliu my first time. Was it bad? It's always bad. Will this be bad? As bad as it gets, kid. But you stick by the Marine next to you, and he will stick by you. So, some of the guys, they aren't very friendly, Sarge. They've lost a lot of their friends in the last couple of days, kid. They think if they don't get to know you, that they won't have to grieve for you if you get killed. They're wrong. It doesn't work that way. Don't worry. No Marine in this company will let you down. Your platoon is what remains of recon. I'm folding you into the 22nd. You'll be going up that damn hill tonight. We're intelligence gathering, sir. I don't need intelligence, son. I need men who can hold rifles and kill Japs. Tonight, you're a rifle company. We've got cooks, mechanics, and stretcher bearers all going into the line. We aim to break them tonight, Lieutenant. Good to see you, Hank. You too, Cole. How's your war? Not quite what I expected. As long as I live, I will never get over that sound. Hey, who's that medic? He'll be killed going out there. It's Sheldon, the guy from the Altacala Bridge. That guy's got no fear. <laughs> He didn't make it. I didn't go out there to save him. What are you saying, man? I went out there to put him out of his misery, to ease his pain. Do you have a problem with that? Murder, Corman. That's war, Lieutenant. Smell the stench. Feel the horse's breath on your neck. You need help, man. Call for me tonight, Lieutenant. When you're up on that hill. I've been up there three times already. The circles of hell have nothing on Sugarloaf Hill. Get this madman out of my sight! It's over, Cole. Looks like you're one of the lucky ones. Say goodbye to your friend Hank, Jack. He was your friend too, Cole. Is this how you're going to leave him? Are you wounded? I nah, scratch, Kelso. Well, get up and get out of that fucking hole. Find a stretcher while you're at it so we can get him out of here. Who's the senior officer here? I guess that's you, Cole. You were up here all night? Yes, sir. And your command? Gone, sir. Sorry to hear that, son. God damn it, we have beaten these bastards back. It's the beginning of the end, and it was one here. You're a goddamn hero, son. What's your name? Lieutenant Phelps, sir. I'm recommending you for the Silver Star and promoting you to first lieutenant.
You like to fight game, Phelps? I did a little boxing in the Marines. I found it a pretty humbling experience. Fix your sandwich, buddy. Corned beef and egg salad, 12 cents. Bologna and ham and cheese, 10. It's strictly a mugs game. You'll like this fight, though. A plucky limey's about to take a beating from an up-and-coming Negro. You sound pretty sure about the result. I ought to be. I got 50 bucks on the black kid. Let's get a ringside seat. Son of a bitch Hammond made a run for his dressing room. Let's find out what's going on. God damn you, Albert! You get out here right now! Step back! LAPD! On. That son of a bitch Hammond has jammed the door. And who are you? Carlo Arcaro. I'm his manager. I'm his trainer. Interesting attitude to have towards a victorious athlete. Victorious? We had an arrangement. We had a goddamn arrangement! That limey bastard was paid to take a nap. He reneged. And you were out of pocket? Damn right. Me and a couple hundred other people. Stand aside. He squeezed out the window. I'll put an APB out on him. Why would we do that? He won the fight fair and square. To prevent him from getting clipped. He was paid to flop. There was big money riding on this So are fight. we here because you lost money or because we're investigating a prize fighting racket? Very funny. Look around and see what you can find. Which is Hammond's locker? Over by the pin board, second from the end. You look troubled. I'm in a jam, doctor. Can I help, Courtney? Is it money? No, no, doctor. That's okay. Do I have your professional confidence? Whatever you say, we'll never leave this room. I talked some of the guys in my old unit into doing something, and it's gone wrong. I guess I did it for the wrong reasons, for short-term gain. We came home from China on the Cool Ridge. The morphine robbery. That was us. I thought I could get the guys a fair share some sort of benefit for the sacrifices that they made in the war. Those guys deserve it, Doctor. Oh, I'm sure they do, Courtney. But the deserving aren't always rewarded. Tell me about it, Doc. I mean, we shifted our stuff onto this mob-connected guy, and it's been turning up all over town. It wasn't meant to be like this. The presumption was rather naive, Courtney. I know that now, Doctor. But people are dying. Hmm. Might I venture a few questions? Sure. Do your underworld contacts have all the morphine? No, they don't. We doled it out, hoping we could control it. Are they pressing you for further allocation? That's the polite way of putting it, Doctor. 
I may be able to help you, Courtney. Thanks, Doc. It helps just to talk about it. I mean, I have a solution that will help you financially and salve your conscience. I'm all ears, Doctor. I will transact to take all the narcotic off your hands. And you can rest assured that it will all be medically administered. I will use the funds that I no longer require for the purchase of medication and invest them in housing developments. Housing? The developments in question are housing projects for former servicemen. Your return will come from the sale of the properties, and your investment will benefit those that you care for most. Does this arrangement meet with your approval? You're a magician, Doctor. There's a phone number we can run by R and I. Plus a bunch of names and odds. You're not the only one who likes a flutter, Roy. You better find that cocksucker and you bring him to me. I feel bad too, Mickey. He guaranteed me he would take the flop. I guarantee that you will be fish food if you don't bring me. Roy, you out of pocket too? Mickey? Seems that way. Don't worry about it. My boys are out looking for him. Well, you'd better call them off. This is a police matter now. If anything happens to Hammond, I'll testify that you made threats against him. Who's the Greyhound? He's a frisky one, isn't he? Cole Phelps? Mickey Cohen. I know who he is, Roy. I, uh, met his brother-in-law. I think you had the mixture pretty scared back there. Operator, give me dispatch. Putting you through now. Phelps, batch 1247. How could I help, detective? I need an address for the following phone number, AL345. Number is the Hotel El Mar, 6294 Leland Way, Hollywood. Thanks. You know the place? Flop House. Quarter a night, no questions asked. You drive. I need to go over the case notes. Fine. Where are we headed? You seem to have a pretty cozy relationship with Cohen and Stampanato. Do I note a hint of reprimand in your tone, detective? Talking to gangsters comes with the turf. You should try out Mickey's place. He's got a haberdasher's up on Sunset. See if he can get you out of those old man's clothes that you slink around in. It's a front for his illegal activities. It is that, but he does carry some very sharp suits. If it's okay with you, I'll stick with Brooks Brothers. Yeah, what do you want? LAPD. We're making inquiries into the whereabouts of an Albert Hammond. No one here by that name. You sure? Sure, I'm sure. This isn't the sort of place where people use their real names. Take a look at the register if you don't believe me. Sam's taking me out of Palm Springs for the weekend. Okay, so look for prominent Tommies. That should narrow it down. Mister, 
A man like you always loses a battle of wits because you're unarmed. Winston Churchill. A very patriotic Englishman is staying in room 207. The old bulldog. Even at a flop house, Adley can't get out from his shadow. What the hell? Door's unlocked. Looks like he's had a broad up here. Does Albert have somebody special? I didn't see anyone in his corner at the fight. I guess a fighter has plenty of time on his hands between bouts. He must be heading home. You know, I hope he makes it. That crooked son of a bitch, no chance. Looks like Albert has been doing some homework. Eleven grand would be a nice little nest egg. Instaheat, Adrian Black's product of choice. Seems like a lifetime ago. Candy has expensive taste. Albert has his work cut out for him. Who's Candy? Candy Edwards, the lady who filled out this coupon. All right, let's go after his girl. See if that gets us any closer. Hey, fuck you! All right, let's go after his girl. See if that gets us any closer. Can you drive to this one? All right, where to? So, you boxed in the Marines? We all did. Standard training. I can't imagine you ever played dirty. The only prize for taking a fall was a thousand push-ups. We need to know which room is Candy's. Can I help? LAPD, ma'am. We're looking for Candy Edwards. Apartment 7. You take the outside stairs by the parking lot and turn left at the top. You friends of the Italian guy? Italian guy? Yeah. Sleazy type. Gave his name as Carlo. I didn't like the look of him, but Candy has some funny friends. Thanks. This Candy broad must be as sweet as she sounds. All these gentlemen callers. I swear, this town is going straight. Give it up, Sounds bitch. Sounds like we're missing all he's the gone fun. And Get in there, Phelps. You know where he's hiding. Now tell me where he is before I cut you. I told you, I haven't seen him. Like hitting women, do you? We had a goddamn. This isn't gonna end well for you, friend. How cold, but breathing. Give her a minute. Take a look around. Single ticket. One way. I guess there isn't a lot for Albert in Ohio. Iscania sails from New York. She's leaving town.
nasty weapon. All the Italians carry them. A real man uses his fists or a gun. Carlo here seems to have the same friends as Hammond. What are the odds on them all being bookmakers? Take a seat, Miss Edwards. We have some questions for you to answer. Look, I haven't done anything wrong. Ever? I find that pretty hard to believe. Can you answer some questions now, Miss Edwards? Sure, I've had worse. I'll shake it off. We're trying to track down Albert Hammond. We have reason to believe he might be in danger. Do you know where he is? No, I don't. I'm over Albert. I haven't seen him. You're lying, Candy. You were in his hotel room. He came back after the fight and you weren't there. What happened? You can't prove that I was in the room. How do you think we found you, Candy? You wrote your name and address on a coupon. Look, Albert was supposed to take a fall. We were all supposed to make a little money out of it. But Albert got too goddamn stubborn. Said his pride was all he had left. So I told him, shove it. Let's see his pride keep him warm at night. So you walked out before the fight? Yes, I did. What's the problem? I didn't take anything. Do the names Harry, Mervyn, or Ray mean anything to you? Could be anybody. How the hell would I know? They're bookmakers, aren't they? Tell me the truth. How the hell would I know? Albert wrote his winnings down on a notepad in the hotel room. We found the odds in his locker. Who has the betting slips? That son of a bitch, Albert. Everyone thought he was dumb, including me. But he beat them all. You're leaving town, Miss Edwards? Yes, I'm going straight home. Albert is going home by boat as soon as he collects his winnings. I know you're going to meet him. Halbert is going to collect nothing. He'll be lucky if he can get out of town in one piece. How will you fare any better? They already believe you're in on it. Hell, I know you're in on it. You can think what you want, Buster. I'll take my chances. I got a few errands to run, and then I say adios to this dump. Do you want to press charges against Arcaro? Just get him out of here. That's all I want. Get out, Carlo, you hump. And get rid of that pig sticker. You ever pull that thing on me, I'll shoot you like a dog. That bitch knows where Hammond is. She knows where my money's gone. My money too, tough guy. I'll handle this. Good luck, Miss Edwards. I hope things work out for you. Thank you. That's very kind of you to say so. Bad people are looking to hurt Candy, and yet she's not heading straight for the train station. I smell a payoff. I say stake her out, see where she goes. Tail is broad. Don't let her get away, but don't get spotted. I'll bring up the car behind you.
Tail is broad. Don't let her get away, but don't get spotted. I'll bring up the car behind you. Tail is broad. Don't let her get away, but don't get spotted. I'll bring up the car behind you. Tail is broad. Don't let her get away, but don't get spotted. I'll bring up the car behind you.
bookmakers? Yes. Surprise, surprise. A blonde woman just came in here. She went out the back way. Said she was being watched. How much did she collect? $3,600. She cleaned me out. On the Hammond Kid Galahad fight? You got it. I'm not complaining. We all made a lot of money on that one. Huge plunge on Galahad, and then Hammond knocks the bum out. So she collected the money and went out through the back door? Nope. She made a phone call over there, wrote something on a notepad, and then left. What are you doing? An old intelligence trick from the Marines. We know where she's headed. Let's get moving. You know the way. You can drive. Where are we going? Car 11K, 11 King. Further to your request, Bunko Fraud has three known bookmakers operating out of storefronts in the Hollywood area. Thrifty Liquor, 6106 Santa Monica, the Examiner Drugstore, and a Max Spirits at 1658 North Cherokee. KGP Elsia. Detectives Phelps and Earl, LAPD. Relax, Cole. You just have a blonde in here, Mervyn? Sure did. I'm just about to close up. She took me to the cleaners. 4,000 clams and change. How long ago did she leave? Maybe five minutes. Called the cab. Asked for a number. I told her there was a card over there by the phone. Yellow cab. We need to get after her, fast. Operator, message for KGPL. Putting you through now. Can you connect me to the yellow cab company? Hollywood 2187, please. This is Detective Phelps, LAPD. You dispatched a cab to 1487 Ivar Avenue, Hollywood? Yes, sir. Send one round from the pool. Do you have the number of that cab? Number 179. Thanks. Sam's taking the other We're done playing around. Weekend. Get Mervyn to give us an address on Ray's place. Do you have any idea who Ray is? Sugar Ray. Not now, Mervyn. Cole doesn't have much of a sense of humor at the best of times. Ray runs a shop up on North Cherokee Avenue, just south of Hollywood Boulevard. Isn't that the cop who solved the big case in You can drive. Do we know where we're going? Hammond backed himself to win. And Candy is picking up the winnings. Smart play. Question is, is Candy collecting on Albert's behalf, or is she cheating him too? That's the cab waiting up ahead. She's not in the car. Don't get too close. She must be inside.
We're on the move again, Cole. After her. Don't lose that cab. Hammond is over the hill. He's a punching bag for the up-and-comers. She knows his goddamn place. I think he knows. I think he worked out the place isn't L.A. He's punchy. His brain's going to mush. Winston Churchill? Give me a break. Churchill is a fighter, Roy. Hammond didn't just scribble down the first name he could think of. Hammond is full of himself, being this sure he was gonna win. You got a pretty funny idea of what keeping a low profile means, Phelps. Too close, Phelps. Way too close. That bitch has given me what I'm owed. That's all I know. Now would be a bad time to forget how to drive. Pull over. He's heading inside. I think I just saw Hammond. I'll tail him. You get in there and stay with Candy. Make sure you don't let her see you. I used to be indecisive. Now, I'm not so sure. What the hell? I swear it. This town's going straight to hell. That's a guy from the papers. Saw that big case. Call an ambulance. Hammond got away. <coughs> he said... Just try and sit still, Candy. Who shot you? Was it Albert? Car. I, I, <gasps> They're on the way. I have a patrolman searching the depot. The chief's putting together a manhunt for Hammond. He got the money, right? Looks like it. A tough bird, our limey friend. Using his girlfriend as the bag woman and then getting greedy over the split? He won't make it out of town. That's how you see it? I told you that cocksucker was a crook. Thirty-two caliber. One shot fired. The Egyptian theater. So what now? Theater, I guess. We don't have much else to go on.
You're behind the wheel. Where are we going? Poor girl. She didn't deserve that. Poor girl. Half the precinct aren't taking a vacation this year because of her. You need to leave town a lot quicker than that if you decide to screw over Mickey C. This seems like a long shot. Aren't they all? Car 11 K. Car 11 King, come in. Car 11 King. Message from the coroner. The cause of death was a knife wound. Repeat, a knife wound. The revolver appears to have belonged to the victim. KGB Son of a bitch. Clear. He stabbed her. I thought you said real men use their fists, not guns. That guinea cocksucker. You think he got the money too? Come on, Roy. We're bringing this whole tragedy to its conclusion. Why'd you kill her, Carlo? Your gripe was with me. She was collecting the money for you. Mickey made it clear it was either me or you, and, and I intend to keep on living. She stole those betting slips. She was running out on me. And you were going to let her? No, I let her collect. I set her up just like she set me up. Just like my manager set me up. Everyone wanted me to take a dive. Everyone wanted me to take the short money. It's for the best, kid. You were washed up, kid. You couldn't climb, and you were too brave to sink. You were going nowhere. Maybe, but I had heart. I was a Royal Marine, Carlo. If I lost a fight, it wasn't for lack of trying, and it wasn't for lack of courage. I didn't have much, but I had that. I did it for you, and that's how you repay me! You did it for yourself, so did little boy. You did it to make a quick buck, and Candy did it to make her dream come true. Blah, blah, blah! I've got the money, all I need to do is get rid of you. It's gonna be a shame, kid, but that's business. We've heard enough, Arcaro. Put down your weapon. You're making a big mistake, Arcaro. Come on, Cole. How was it that day? Hand it to and we'll find it. Where are you? You limey cocksucker. It's time to come out now, Hammond. Put the gun down, Roy. That son of a bitch owes me a lot of money. Catch. Escania sails from New York, Hammond. Be on the next train and don't ever come back. Why? Because I was a Marine and I once lacked courage. Everyone deserves a second chance. Now beat it. Fuck you! That English prick is getting away with my money, Phelps! Donnelly and the Homicide Squad send their best, Phelps. They're more than pleased that you wrapped up the Edwards killing. They're a little mystified about the motive. You have any ideas on that? Uh, crime of passion, sir. Uh, looks like some sort of love triangle between the manager, the fighter, and the, uh, his girlfriend. No sign of the scrapper? No, sir. Looks like he left town after the fight. Okay. It's homicide's problem now. Good work, gentlemen. 